If you could give Mitchell Pearce any advice as an elite athlete, what would it be? Oh, look, firstly, I think it's great that, that Mitch put his hand up and went and got help. I think that's first and foremost, you want to see anybody in that situation uh, look after themselves and people around them support them and look after them. I think he, he has made it very clear that he's, he's made some mistakes a number of times. He's going to suffer whatever punishment that's, um, that's awarded to him. He's going, to, he's going to cop that on the chin. I would hate to see the sport that he loves so much get taken away from him, though. You know, I, I know what it's like, like I say, to, be, to have five months away from cricket and I started as a six-year-old boy, I missed it so much. So for him, if the game was taken away and he could never play in the NRL again, I think that would break his heart. I think, you know, this punishment that he's going to get, whatever it is, is going to be, be a real indication for him to go, OK, I'm right there and it, it could disappear. I can't afford to, to stuff up again. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's fair for me to judge. I don't sit in his shoes. I didn't sit in, in Andrew Simon's shoes. I'm like any young uh, sportsman, person, I like to celebrate success. If we did well as a team, I want us to go and have a drink and have a good time. Again, we know, you know, behaviours in society are... There's rules, there's, there's regulations, you have to abide by those. And I like the fact that Mitch has put his hand up and he's willing to cop whatever punishment on the chin. And, and I hope he gets another crack at rugby league because I think the game, the game loves having him involved.